A retrograde is technically not a planet going backward. It just appears that way from our perspective from Earth. So like when you're at a red light um, in traffic when you're driving and the car next to you is moving forward and you are standing still, you haven't gone forward yet, it looks like you are going backward. That's the same phenomenon. There's a pre-retrograde shadow before the actual retrograde and it's about two to two and a half weeks before the actual retrograde and you want to pay attention to this time because that is the content that you will review during the actual retrograde so think back to and i always mark it down on my calendar around december 30th 31st january 1st till now and see what themes came up in your aquarius house today mercury station to go retrograde which means that it's moving back towards all those degree points that it passed through so you're going to review all of the content that you've experienced in the last two two and a half weeks and that time is for you to review and contemplate so when mercury goes direct on like february 3rd february 4th it's actually going over back again those degree points that it was at the beginning of the shadow so now going direct you get a chance to redo all of those things that came up during the retrograde that is called the post shadow so a lot of people have told me that during the pre-shadow is when people experience the pitfalls of mercury retrograde the most because that's when shit starts falling apart so that during the actual retrograde period is when you start going over everything and reflecting on things and then other people have said the post shadow when they have been in the process of redoing everything that's when shit starts hitting the fan that's when things start getting real remember what i said in part one this mercury retrograde in aquarius is asking you to expand your mind the limits of your mind when mercury goes direct in capricorn to ground it in earth energy